and then okay so then at the same point as lighting a green and then trying to make sure that that's all one color and there's not shadows and such you're also then trying to light the subject mm -hmm. i like this guy so it looks like the same as the movie Close enough, yeah. Close enough that we can, because um, you could be, yeah, totally blown out with light, and then the others, like the actual film itself, could just be really dark, and it just it's probably the better way to go about it. But <laughs> um, no, but also because we light the green screen first, make that all nice and bright. Mm. You could have green spill over you. So that's I've when seen that on it's in bad green screen effects, like when I don't know people lose a shoulder, like the yeah, edging yeah. of them disappears and that's that's why what a hectic like, just for a throwaway idea <laughs> yeah. I, I want to work with angelina and brad but they don't call me back <laughs> um, <laughs> and how long do you work on that because i think it's i think it's, it's one of the things that we always try and do here is you know we try and create kind of different types of content not a new mm. show and you know the party line might be to show people what the kind of things we can do but realistically for me it's so people get to flex a new muscle yeah try a new thing i think that's really cool and i think that's like, what i love to do about it yeah. it's just really cool like you know you're getting to do that and we're already talking about doing another green screen yeah and mace is like yeah but next time and I, that's the thing i love like the cool i already think i can do a bit do it better yeah so you know how much we'll better see. it's much better Mm -hmm. Just put it on record. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of. That's why I just looked at the camera and was like, okay, yeah, I'll we'll just on be playing record. this clip yeah. in the office over and over again. You said it a week, man. You said it a week, a week, a week, week, week. When I close my eyes at night, it's just going to be saying that over and over again. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the process. So, yeah, from that spitball idea, I had to go and actually watch the film, get their lines, and put a script together. So we can have Jay say stuff and have them naturally react to it. That was more than just the green screen. That's what had to sell mm. this video idea. Um, and then, yeah, once we shot it, we only shot it in like what an hour or two. Yeah, it was just it was just you sitting and in you, your armchair with the green screen, and, and you was... doing your best um, Brad or Angelina impression and feeding your lines. <laughs> that too um <laughs> but the script like that i i love that script and i love your ability to actually write scripts but that seemed like the hardest part to me to write in a line of dialogue so that other people could respond with something that's already said um and yeah. to make it like entertaining and funny and on message was seemed like a lot of work i uh well that's why i had to watch it so many times right? and that's why i hate the film <laughs> um but no no it was yeah, again, another challenge. But what a horrible day at work. No, it was fun. Mum, they made me watch that horrible movie again. <laughs> They're not paying me enough for this. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is not in my job description. I looked, and this isn't what I signed up for. At no point did it say watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith this many times. Call HR. They call HR. This is, a, um, this is cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I don't know what I've done wrong. <laughs> anyway um but yeah the shoot itself was pretty breezy it was great yeah. and yeah the most of the time was given to taking away the green screen but also making a backdrop that fits in with the scene right because you never Smith. saw the the counselor in the, in the actual no. show no right? oh you made that yeah yeah huh. you don't know that okay i'd seen it as a no no so i took a still of Brad and Angie's uh, shot right. in the counselor room, uh -huh. um, whatever it's called, and pasted them out, put content aware on it. So it kind of filled in the gaps, but it, it looks like a nightmare. Right. So you just need to uh, smoothen that out and sort of blend bits together. It, it, it sounds magic. a lot of work. It, it sounds, sounds like magic. It's magic as well, <laughs> because you didn't know. You didn't know. No. I love it. How often I'm like, yeah, it's nice. And then there was another point you said how you were lit more than Brad and Angie. So mm. I put a image of a lamp behind you. Nice. To sort of look like there is a lamp in the shot. So and so, so it visually makes sense when there's too much light on your. I've seen that. So one. that's just fixing something in post that people say. That's, that's it shows it quite a lot. Like no matter we, even when we release the silliest of videos, there's quite a lot of work goes into it, right? I'm, oh. just, I'm just committed no point doing it half-heartedly no um okay so is that the best the best thing that we've done the random idea <laughs> that is the stupid idea that we turned into a great idea ah 
I can't think <laughs> of other stupid ideas we would have just content relay was an awful lot of fun. I was really impressed with that. Yes. Video production relay. Yeah. So yeah. I had this idea a long time ago about um if you've seen the movie Lord of War, right at the beginning, a bullet. And I'm getting there, don't worry. Um, a bullet. <laughs> you give me that Mason look right now, I'm in trouble. Um, so you follow the life of a bullet from being made, from being transported all the way across and finally going in a gun. It's yeah. all CGI, not something that's necessarily going to do here. But I've always liked that idea and the fact that this recording, it, probably because I'm so blind to all the process, I want to see what happens behind the scenes because I just do this and ha 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 ha. And then later on, there's YouTube and there's videos and other things happening. So yeah. I love that idea of doing the production relay and just following through the teams of like the life of a piece of content as mm. it comes from someone's mouth and talking nonsense like this guy through smart people like yourself, through other people, stuff, and finally getting released by. It's just the glasses. It's just the glasses. Ah, yeah. oh, you're Clark Kentingly. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you learned? What's what's the biggest thing you learned working in an agency Ooh, and getting from a freelancer life? Good, another good question. Uh, I guess it's just what were the experiences, all the opportunities you've given me in the past six months, whether it's uh, going out on bigger shoots than what I'm used to, uh, having more uh, interaction with the clients, mm. and I'm also producing this show. I've learned from just doing this show, just live streams and yeah. And, and is now so much of a, a Jaylee show guy. He's like, did you, you're not did, not on your own again, Jay. Yeah. I, I, if I, Put I'll, me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a chance. Just give me one. <laughs> so, and also what's good as well, is, as Mason's more prepared than me, he even brought talking points. He even brought a couple of points that we could, you know, fall into when we start running out of things to speak about. So here, this is my backup. For, your backup, your backup. <laughs> what could we talk about? Well, uh, we could talk. Well, we just talked about GL uh, plans for Jaylee show. Hello, we got this new setup that Isn't we've nice? been working on. Mm. Yeah, currently speaking to a, a wonderful business called Are You Fleur Real? <laughs> Um, who do a bunch of wonderful fake flowers that are nicer than these. Uh, so we're going to make this place look like a jungle at some point, which is going to be pretty. Uh, also looking to get some more, um, I just, I prefer this. It's so much better. Yeah. Like, you know, I've, the show is always going to be a one-on-one -on -one show. That's how I've always podcasted. That's how we all want to podcast. But obviously with lockdown, it just became much easier to book through via Zoom. You don't have to travel. No one has to travel. We don't have to disrupt people's day. I mean, you guys can't see it, but there's a buttload of equipment here. <laughs> it is a lot to just, you know, arrive and take over someone's office. But the shows that I have done in person in the past were excellent. Yeah. Like it was a lot more fun. It's a lot easier to converse and have a conversation and really get into it. And it looks better and it can sound better as well and mm -hmm. all those things as well. So I want to book some more face-to-face -face shows this year. Uh, I want to go out and see some other people's places and mm -hmm. go into their environment, not just have it against our sexy brick wall, but also bring people here. Yeah. Show them the, the wonderfulness of the GL team. They can drink an espressos and sit in the hot seat like you're having to. We might even give them a cushion. You never know. Yeah, I don't have a cushion. You don't have a cushion, but they, they might need one. Yeah.